so hello all of you today we will be discussing how to take exemption in both the institutes the indian institute as well as ifoa so to start with first i would like you all to go through the uh, rules and regulations for both the institutes for iai you can find the rules and regulations on their home page uh, where under the examination tab you will see the option of exemptions as soon as you click on the exemption option you will be uh, given this page where you can see all the details that you have to know before you apply for your exemption it talks about all the different routes and all the different ways in which you can claim exemption from the institute's papers so for most of us i think it will be from the ifoa where we have cleared some of the actual papers so one important thing is that iai shall grant exemptions if the students have passed institute and faculty of actuaries exams from 1st january 2019 until 31st december 2021 so only candidates who have passed the their exams in this period that is from 1st january 2019 to 31st december 21 only those candidates can claim exemption from iai another thing they have clarified is that the institute shall not grant exemptions to ca2 subjects which have been passed between september 18 and december 18 and cp3 subject between september 17 and december 18 so this is one point which you have to keep in mind another thing is that the ex uh, fees which you pay for exemption it is non refundable like all the other fees other details you can find over here and go through them it also includes the exemption fees that is charged for every paper so you all can check it out before you move on all right the procedure is also given over here and now i will be showing you how does the procedure actually go about so first of all to claim exemption under iai you have to log in to their web page and after logging in you will get the exemption tab available on your screen on under the exemption tab the exemption form is available as soon as you click on it and accept the uh, dialog box that comes you will be faced with this so uh, there is only one field to be filled select name of the institution for most of you it will be institute and faculty of actuaries in case you all are going for some other exemption you all can choose the other one after you have selected it this is the page that will come up so now i have selected the institute and faculty of actuaries after that you'll have to choose the subject for which you want the exemption all the subjects are present over here you can choose from here and then the fees for that particular subject will be displayed over here then you enter your arn number the date of passing now what is the date of passing when you download your exam result letter your exam result letter contains a date on top that is the date of passing which you have to enter over here so you have to enter your date of passing over here registered name in ifoa pass history is whatever name you have been registered under including any middle name or anything as such exact name should be entered in this field after that two documents are required one is the passing certificate or exam pass history that is uh, where is it available you will go to your my exams tab under ifoa after you log in of course you go to the my exams tab here you will see there is an exam history option so as soon as you click on exam history you will get these three option print my exam history download my exam history and email my exam history so in this field you will choose your download pass exam download exam history you will upload it over here and then upload ifoa confirmation email on exam pass history so now what is this basically they want this is a way of attesting your exam history that you have uploaded when you go to this tab as you all can see there is the email my exam history option now this email my exam history option is what they are asking for here you have to enter the email address which is your own email address you will have to enter your email address and the ifoa will send an email to you where they are attesting or confirming that the exam history we have downloaded and uploaded is correct okay so i'll just show you an example when you receive the mail you will receive it in this format all right this is the example uploaded by iai 
so just this portion up to the logo make sure the logo is present you do not have to show the attachment of the exam history that is not required just you have to show when what when did you receive the email from whom did you receive it and this line which uh, attests your exam history basically and the logo all right so this has to be uploaded in this field all right after that you click the make payment option you will have to make the payment and in say about two to three months usually it takes to process your exam exemption application so after two to three months you will be allowed exemption after due diligence and everything so that is uh, regarding how to claim exemption under iai Le moving on to ifoa under ifoa again there is there are certain rules and regulations which we have to follow so here you can see who all can apply for ifo examination exemptions they have given all the details regarding all the routes now in ifo there are primarily five routes so you all uh, you all can see which route applies to you for people who want to take uh, exemptions regarding the papers given under iai they will be moving with route b which is the actual association qualification so we will just click on this and we will see if you are applying for IFO examination exemptions on the basis of a qualification you achieved before 2016, you have to contact the institute in using this email ID for requesting the application form. And if you have passed your exam beyond or after 2016, then you can uh, use the normal way which we will show you today. So again, uh, for most of you, actually, uh, the Actuaries Institute of India, the Institute of Actuaries India, IAI, we do not accept exam exemption applications for examination passes from the IAI December 2018 exam session. So post December 2018 exam session, there are no exemptions available. Okay, this is one thing which you have to keep in mind. Now here you get the list of documents which you will be requiring for claiming the exemption. Of course, there has to be a certified copy of official proof of the qualification of which you sat and passed with another actual association. However, one thing to notice is that here the document need not be attested. However, later, maybe the institute can ask you for an attested copy as well. All right. Now, how do we apply for the exemption under IFOA. So when you download, uh, when you log in, you will see on my exam sec uh, section, there is an exam exemptions option. You click on it and then you will face three options. You go to find my exemptions and under find my exemptions, you will uh, get all the five routes, the account which I'm using. So route B, you will choose, which is the other actuarial association and go to the next step. In the next step, you have to select which association it is, which is Institute of Actuaries of India in this case. The next step, associate or fellowship, that is the degree or qualification, which you have to choose. The year qualification was awarded. You can choose from here. Let's say we choose 2019. After that, you can, choose which paper or which uh, exam you want to get exempted from and then you apply for the exemption one important thing for ifoa exemptions is that there are two payment methods available one is the bank transfer and one is paying using card so when if you opt for bank transfer what you have to do is they will provide you the bank details and as soon as you apply for the exemption first you have to make the payment and then send them proof attach the proof of payment with your application however if you are paying using card then the process is a little different because now you have to just apply and your application will go to the institute they will approve it and only after approval you will receive a mail that in your uh, outstanding invoices section your invoice for exemption is now outstanding so after that only can you make the payment using your card so this is a very major difference in the ifoa method of claiming exemption which you all have to keep in mind so after this you just choose your papers and then you apply for your exemptions 
So I hope all of you are clear with the methods for both the institutes. In case you all have any doubts, you all can always go through the institutes pages as I showed you all. All the FAQs and details for both the institutes are present on their pages itself. So you all can see over there. Thank you so much.